evaluate the following first order differential equation. Well, first we gotta put this into standard form in which dy dx is isolated along with the y dependent variable. So dy dx is actually in a good spot as of right now because there is no coefficient and it is the leading term. Now we gotta move this term, negative four y over to the left side. So we're going to be adding plus four y equals x squared e to the negative four x. We put this still on the right side since it's a function of the dependent variable which is referred to as q of x. So now we need to find p of x so that we can find the integrating factor. So p of x is just the leading coefficient in terms of you know first order differentials as the leading term of y which is just four. If it were negative four it would be minus four but it's just four for now. So p of x equals four. Let's just go ahead and do the integral real quick of p of x dx, and that is simply 4x. So why do we need the integral of p of x dx? Well, the integrating factor i of x, or uh, mu of x in some textbooks they call it like that, equals e to the integral of p of x dx. This essentially just equals e to the 4x since we already solved the integral up there. So now that is our integrating factor, we're going to multiply everything from this standard form over here by e to the 4x. So essentially it's just e to the 4x dy dx plus, uh, we'll put the 4 in front, 4 times e to the 4x y equals, uh, let's just put this as the denominator, so x squared over e to the 4x times e to the 4x, since e to the negative 4x is just positive 4x exponentially in the denominator. So these will actually end up canceling. So this becomes again e to the 4x dy dx plus 4e to the 4x y and that equals simply x squared. Now all we have to do is factor out the differential term dy dx and create the product rule. By that I mean Let's write dy dx. And we're going to have to create a product rule in which we get this term. Well, all we have to do is simply just put in i of x, which is just e to the 4x times y. All you have to do for the right side is just times y. All you have to do for the left hand is just i of x. So if we look at this uh, product rule, you can see that uh, the derivative of e to the 4x is just 4e to the 4x times y plus now dy dx times again e to the 4x so this checks out and that equals x squared now if we integrate both sides the integral of a derivative just cancels out and we'll be able to isolate our y in the next step however the right hand side is also integrated so this equals simply e to the 4x times y since we got rid of the derivative with the integral and we can just do the uh, right hand side in our heads. The integral of x squared is just x cubed over three. So equals x cubed over three. We are now allowed to put the plus C on the right hand side since there's no more integration, but sometimes you may want to hold on to that constant since you don't want to confuse any constant terms. So now all we got to do is isolate Y by dividing everything by E to the four X. So Y equals X cubed over three E to the four X plus c over e to the 4x. And that is our answer. It is a family of solutions due to the fact that this is not an initial value problem in which they would give y of 0 equals 1, for instance. So this is actually our answer. If you want, you could rewrite this as y equals uh, x cubed over 3e to the 4x plus c e to the negative 4x if you want. You know, you want the constant to be on the left side, not on top sometimes. But uh, again, this is the same answer. It's a family of solutions, so C could be multiple. But yeah, this is the uh, answer for this first order linear differential equation. And if you have any questions, please leave in the comments below and good luck.